Hey guys, Rini here. Welcome to Simply Rini. If you haven't, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how I create foaming hand soap for my kitchens and my bathrooms. So I'm going to go ahead and flip you around so you can see the materials that I use. So here are the materials that um, you use for your foaming um, hand soap. So the first thing I use is this pure soap. Um, I don't like getting any of the of the scented ones, even though they are with um, oils. I just I like working with the pure and then adding in my own essential oils. So um, I do get the pure, um, and then I get their glass, their glass foam hand soap dispensers. Um, I like the glass so that I don't have to worry when I add my essential oils because you should never use essential oils in plastic because the essential oils, um, they break down and degrade the plastic. So um, this is something I actually got that on Amazon. I will leave a link below um, to where I to where you can purchase it. So the, um, another thing that I use is the fr fractionated coconut oil. So any oil really will do. You can use an olive oil, avocado oil, um, just as long as it's some sort of, sort of oil, um, just to kind of help, uh, help it kind of go through the hand soap dispenser easily. And then the last thing is whatever essential oils you wanna use. So I normally use about 10 drops. So sometimes I split, um, five drops of something and five drops of another. Like um, the last time I filled this up, I used five drops of lemon and five drops of lavender. Um, today I am going to, well, right now in this thing, I just kind of filled that up. I use 10 drops of peppermint. So, and then you need um, a tablespoon um, in order to measure out your materials. So what you wanna do is you just wanna have two, so you're gonna have two tablespoons of the soap and you just add it in, into this. Um, you do a tablespoon of the oil. So like I said here, I have the fractionated coconut oil, but you can use olive oil or whatever oil that you would like. And then all I'd simply do is add 10 drops of whatever essential oil I am using. And then you wanna fill it with um, distilled water. So make sure you go slow when you're filling. I actually haven't had any issues with like bubbles. Some people do the water first and add in everything else, but I haven't had any issues. So I actually like adding everything in and then adding the water just because I'm worried that I'm gonna add too much water and then there's not gonna be enough room for any of the other materials. But just go slow so that way, um, you know, the bubbles doesn't, the bubbles don't overtake. And make sure you leave some room so that you can put that in um, so it doesn't overfill. So again, two tablespoons of the soap, a tablespoon of the oil, and then about 10 drops of essential oils. And then add in distilled water and you have your foaming hand soap. So it's just such a nice, easy, inexpensive way um, to create a healthy home for your family. So I hope you have a good day and I will see you next week.